Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're talking about test and go easing and insurance. And just this one from TAT News, that's tatnews.org. Updated test and go rules from March 1, or 1 March 2022. Quote, travelers can arrive in Thailand by air, land, and water with the required prepay accommodation reduced to one night and the COVID-19 test revised to one RT-PCR and one self-ATK. One self-ATK. I'll get to that in a minute. The health insurance coverage has also been reduced to no less than $20,000. So a couple of things going on. I, I kind of waited to go ahead and do a video on this because I wanted to wait and see that it's actually firmed up and it looks like it has. But a couple of main things to keep in mind here is it looks like it's possible that this could create a situation where we could start seeing maybe a little bit of border runs because land and water are now apparently included in this. Although border running isn't going to be like it used to be. You got to make a lot of, you know, you basically have to take a lot of things into consideration when you're doing this. It's not like just running up across a border, running back over, oftentimes within the same hour. The other thing, other th major thing to keep in mind is this massively decreases the onus, if you will, on tourists or travelers coming into Thailand on hotel accommodations. So up to now, this is March, 20, uh, March 1, 2022, up to this point, you know, we had test and go, then they canceled that, reverted back to the old system. Then it came back online, only it had this five-day window where you had to get one test and then five days and then another test and then you could leave, but you could wander around where you were at well, during the five-day period, but you had to pay for that five days of hotel accommodation. That appears to be ending. And then finally, as noted, there's only one RT-PCR test, that's the one on entry, and then the second one is a self-ATK test, which apparently there are going to be provisions put in place to go ahead and report that final ATK test. So that's basically what we're dealing with moving forward. Now, also noted, insurance requirements have been dropped down to 20,000 US dollars. This is, there, there's a lot of speculation out there as to why this is happening, but apparently it's coming online. And we're gonna do another video on that topic contemporaneously with this one. So stay tuned for more information regarding the adjustment of the insurance requirements here in the Kingdom of Thailand. 